Hello and welcome to Ready API, an integrated suite of applications for API testing. In this video, we will describe how you can automate execution of functional tests you create in SOAP UI Pro. To start a SOAP UI Pro test automatically, you can use the test runner command line utility that comes along with Ready API. You can find it in the bin subfolder of the Ready API installation. The file extension depends on the operating system you use. On Windows, it's BAT. On Linux and Mac OS, it's SH. The test runner has no UI and can work in both interactive and non-interactive user sessions in different environments, as well as in Docker containers. We provide a ready-made Docker image for this. You can start the runner at some specific time or on some event like an application build with any task scheduler, continuous integration, or test management system. To help you automate tests easier, SmartBear also provides special plugins for Jenkins, TeamCity, Azure DevOps, and Maven. Let's look at Jenkins, as it is one of the most often used solutions. You start the runner from a Jenkins job that works on your Jenkins server or on a Jenkins node. The computer where you will run your tests must have Ready API installed and have a SOAP UI Pro license activated. Also, it should have access to your test project and data files it uses. You can copy the project to the computer where your tests will run or have it shared in a folder in your network. If you want to run tests on Jenkins node, then each node should follow the same requirements. It should have Ready API installed and activated, and should have access to your test project and files. Let's run a test on a Jenkins server. The easiest way to do this is to use a special plugin created by SmartBear. You can install it in this Manage Plugin section on your Jenkins server. Now let's create a new project. It will be a freestyle project. To run your SOAP UI Pro test, use this build step. It was added to your Jenkins server by the plugin we have just installed. In the step properties, enter the path to your test runner into your test project, specify the test to run, and set other parameters if needed. During the build, Jenkins will use all of these values to form a command line for launching the test runner. OK, we can run the project now. And most likely, this run will fail. Let's see why. The log states that the SOAP UI Pro license was not found. This happens because the Jenkins server by default works under a system account and you install and activate Ready API under a user account. So when Jenkins launches the test runner, the latter starts under the system account and has no access to the SOAP UI Pro license. To solve this problem, you can change the properties of this Jenkins service in the operating system, so it works under the same user account under which you've already activated the license. OK, the Jenkins service will have access to the license. This is probably the fastest way to solve the problem when you have a fixed license. If you don't want to change Jenkins settings, you must use a floating license. If you have such a license, you can configure Ready API to consume it from the command line. This command checks out the license from the license manager in your local network. You can download the license manager library class from the SmartBear website. To run this jar file, we recommend using the Java executable that comes along with Ready API. This helps you avoid possible issues with multiple Java versions being installed on your machine. Place this command before your test runner step. We have a fixed license on our server, so we will not use this step. We can run the test now. This time, the test runner started and ran our tests. You can see results on the console output screen. The test runner also generates a JUnit style report, and you can see it here. The test runner also provides a report in the PDF format that you can view here. If these settings are not enough and you need some specific options, for instance, if you want to run test cases by tags, you need to launch the test runner from the command line. To do this, use another step in your build and enter the command line that includes the test runner file name and the needed options. The test runner has a large set of command line arguments. You can find their descriptions in the product documentation and then write the command line you need. To make things easier, Ready API offers a special dialog box where you can compose the command line visually 
In the dialog box, you can choose the test suites and test cases to run, select the report type to be generated, choose tags and configure other parameters. After you are done, you can launch the runner directly from the dialog or view the command line and copy it to the clipboard for later integrations. OK, we've briefly described how you can automate Ready API functional tests. For more information on this, see the product documentation. Thank you for watching.